Hey everybody. Um, so this week uh, is not my typical project that I was actually planning on posting. I actually uh, put aside uh, the project that I was working on um, to do this. Uh, this was the this is my my entry or whatever you want to call it uh, into the uh, challenge that um, Steve Ramsey and Alex Harris uh, constructed on your the hometown project. Uh, so my hometown project is a wood turned. Uh, beer bottle um, and originally I was planning on doing this as a, a label it's basically walnut maple and walnut um, but if you've ever had one of those projects that just didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to and, and things weren't going right from the start um, this was definitely one of those projects for me uh, in the in the end it's a decent project it turned out okay but not the way that I wanted it to uh, my glue lines uh, weren't really good. Um, you can see most of them and there's a nice big one in the middle of the maple. Um, my wood burning skills didn't, um, did not show up on this, on this project. Uh, I definitely found my limitations with wood burning. Considering I haven't done a whole lot of wood burning anyways, um, it didn't turn out too bad. Um, but, uh, I definitely need some more practice and maybe some, maybe find some better tips that will work better, uh, for fine detail work. So if anybody does a lot of wood work, wood burning, um, if you've got some uh, tips that work really good for fine, small, intricate de de details, uh, let me know, um, and uh, I'll see if I can find some. Uh, maybe it'll help me out in the future. But basically, what it is is a, a beer bottle, like I said. On one side, I've got the Anheuser-Busch logo, since St. Louis is well, well known for um, Bush beer products, you know, Budweiser, Bud Light, uh, all that kind of stuff. That's where... Um, Anheuser-Busch was, we're, this is where Anheuser-Busch was created, uh, is in St. Louis, Missouri, uh, even though it's been sold to AB InBev now, um, or InBev, um, it's still a part of our, our history, our rich history, and the brewery is still downtown pumping out as much beer as it possibly can. Uh, and then on the back side, I did the St. Louis Cardinals, not the official logo, but just the, uh, like you can see on my shirt here, the STL logo um, on the back. So all in all, it turned out pretty good. Um, like I said, uh, problems throughout the whole process, um, but that happens. Uh, sometimes you just need to, to start over and you know, this is a great, basically a great concept piece. Um, I might try one of these in the future. Basically what the, the, my biggest problem was is I put too much walnut on the bottom and my, my maple um, label, which was supposed to be the label for the beer bottle, um, was too high up. Uh, so it didn't really fit very well. So it needed to be down about an inch. And basically there's two pieces of walnut um, laminated together in the bottom. So if I would have just taken the one off, then this would have looked, this would have been exactly what I wanted. So like I said, a good, good concept uh, project in the future. Um, this isn't going to be a, a normal video for me. I'm not going to have the whole build process. Uh, I'll just show you a couple clips of uh, turning it. And um, that's about all I did because... I got so frustrated at so many times. Uh, basically, there's a couple of nice huge catches uh, in this um, because, uh, well, the one big catch that's that's in here um, is the one that broke it off the lathe, and I could just I just couldn't get it to fit back on the lathe just right to where I could work on it again. So I just left it off, sanded it really good, and uh, just went from there. So uh, I'll I'll put up some uh, close-up video of the bottle at the end. And uh, you can guys tell me what you thought. Uh, I don't think I've seen one of these on YouTube before. Um, so maybe a new concept for wood. Maybe somebody's done a beer bottle before. I, I just don't know about it. But uh, pretty easy project, actually. It doesn't really take a whole lot of skill to do this. So if you're a beginner wood, like, a beginner wood turner like me, um, the, this is actually a pretty easy project. Uh, I just drilled a hole with my drill press in the top to, to form the opening. Um, but really cool project. I think I might... Consider this for future projects, uh, maybe when I get into my craft stuff. So uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the uh, comments. Uh, please like and subscribe as always, and I will see you all next time. Uh, and check out the uh, video that I've got from uh, creating this.